Welcome to AKC Dog Center live from 101 Park in New York City. Today is Friday, April 26th. I'm Marissa Sarbach. Thank you for joining us in the AKC Museum of the Dog. We are bringing you the latest dog news from the American Kennel Club every Tuesday and Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time. And that's right here in the heart of Manhattan. In today's top stories, we have got the top 10 dogs of March 2019. Plus, we honor our dog store of the month, Kuiper the Whippet. Glee the Golden Retriever asks us, what makes you gleeful? And we check in with Hazel the English Setter from the AKC Puppy Pack. All year long, dog shows are being held all around the country. Now, each month, the American Kennel Club tallies up the results of those shows and reveals the top 10 dogs. So let's see who the top dogs were for the month of March. Number 10 is Dottie, a three-year-old Pembroke Welsh Corgi with multiple best in show wins and specialty wins. Number nine is Jace, a five-year-old English Springer Spaniel with a best of breed win at the AKC National Championship. Sol, the six-year-old pointer is number eight. Sol won best of breed at the Westminster Kennel Club. Number seven is Seba, the three-year-old standard poodle from Northampton, Pennsylvania. Now, Seba recently won the Poodle Club of Na America National Specialty. Then we have the old English sheepdog, Sophia, coming in at number six. Sophia won best of breed at the Old English Sheepdog Club of America National Specialty. Number five is Biggie, the three-year-old pug who has a group one win at the Westminster Kennel Club. Number four, three-year-old Bourbon the Whippet. Bourbon won best of breed and group two at Westminster Kennel Club. And coming in at number three is Tony, the three-year-old German Shepherd dog from Edgerton, Wisconsin. Tony won best of breed and group three at the Westminster Kennel Club. Wilma, the three-year-old boxer, is our number two dog this month. She also has a group one win at Westminster. And this dog's, this month's top dog is once again, Bono, the two-year-old Havanese, who was reserved best in show at the Westminster Kennel Club. Congratulations to all of this month's top 10 dogs. Now you can watch amazing dogs like these top 10 compete anytime you want. You just go to akc.tv and click on the events tab to see our huge library of dog shows. You can check out our upcoming events there as well. And each month we are honoring a different dog superstar that embodies the AKC spirit. So our dog star this month is Kuiper the Whippet. Kuiper is three years old and has earned his companion racer title from the Whippet Racing Association. In 2018, he was the fastest of all dogs at AKC Fast Cat. Now CAT stands for Course Ability Test and Fast Cat is a timed 100 yard dash for dogs. Kuiper's average run speed is 37.6 miles an hour and while he was the fastest dog in 2018, he's only the number three fastest Whippet on record. So there's still a little bit more work to do. Kuiper has been chasing the lure since he was just a few weeks old and he trains a little bit every day with a private obedience lesson from Cindy Lung at Trainers to the Rescue. Kuiper eats most of his meals during training so he's pretty used to working for his food. His appetite is like a bottomless pit which makes him very easy to train. And there's only ever been one Whippet Obedience Champion in the entire history of the AKC and that was back in 1982. Kuiper is hoping to be the second Whippet to ever reach that goal, and we wish him the best of luck. Kuiper's owner picked him as a puppy because he was so playful and engaging, and very cute, I'm sure. He lives in Portland, Oregon, and he has been all over the country. We can't wait to see where Kuiper's speed takes him next. To learn how your dog can get involved in AKC Fast Cat, you go to akc.org sports, and there you can find the events in your area. AKC Fast Cat provides a terrific opportunity to introduce new participants to the world of AKC sports and as one of the few events where all that's needed to compete is a dog's natural instincts. Now, just yesterday, AKC TV released a new episode of In the Dog House, where AKC Gazette managing editor Bud Bacone is taking a dive deep into the history behind canine artwork. The episode features a piece of artwork titled Silent Sorrow, and we've got a preview for you. In the frame, you see a young Queen Victoria, that's Edward's mother. You see her beloved husband, Prince Albert. He's just back from a day's hunting and he spread out all of the game birds on the rug and on the furniture. And in the far left of the frame, you'll see uh, the young Princess Royal. There's so much stuff to notice. The pattern in the rug, the moldings on the walls, the furniture, the costumes. It's, it's a remarkably crowded picture and it's crowded on purpose. 
Thanks, bud. Can't wait to hear the answer. And to watch the full episode, go to akc.tv slash series and search for In the Doghouse. Well, dogs have some incredible skills, but their most amazing gift might be the ability to make us happy. Now, Glee the Golden Retriever has over 315,000 followers on Instagram for just that reason. Glee goes out into the world with her owners, Jared and Jennifer Kasner, to ask the question, what makes you gleeful? AKC TV correspondent Ben Green has that story. Glee is famously cute, and she uses that fame for something meaningful. Glee has a very large Instagram presence, but what's the most exciting about it is that she uses the account to spread positivity between people. And how does she do that? By going around and asking the question, what makes you gleeful? So yeah, so what makes you guys gleeful? Uh... Uh, the sun and Agnes B. Cool. <laughs> My friends. <laughs> Love, Love it. it. Yeah. And Snapple? <laughs> yeah. Part of what's really cool is that a lot of people have the same things in common that make them gleeful. And the most exciting for us is really the love that people feel for dogs. What makes me gleeful is beautiful days in New York and seeing dogs walk by. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Husky Shepherd and a Corgi. Okay. Oh, my Yorkie Poo's in Florida, but I pet like five other dogs at my coffee shop. People definitely talk about their dogs when they think about what makes them gleeful, but what's also really wonderful, people are, find it easier to connect over a dog than maybe they feel that it is to connect one-on-one -on -one between two different people. Do you meet weirdos like me all the time where I'm like, copy breath? <laughs> I That's how we are, so. <laughs> uh, to me, glee is almost like, almost irrepressible joy. And nothing says irrepressible joy like a golden retriever. Aw, thanks, Ben. And you can follow Glee on Instagram at goldens underscore Glee. So if you're interested in getting a golden retriever like Glee, you can find a local breeder at marketplace.akc.org. And each week we end the show by checking in with everybody's favorite, I think, the AKC Puppy Pack. We're following seven puppies, one from each group through the first year of their life. Here is Hazel, the English setter, napping. She's very, very cute. English setters are an energetic breed, but after their daily runner walk, they usually just settle right down as quiet companions. You can see it right there. Hazel loves working with agility obstacles like tunnels and hoops, but afterwards there is nothing she wants more than, well, just a good long nap. <laughs> If you want to follow Hazel and the rest of the AKC Puppy Pack, check out AKC's Instagram account at American Kennel Club. Instagram users can also follow that hashtag AKC Puppy Pack. That's all for today. I'm Marissa Sarbach. Thank you for joining us. We'll be here bringing you the latest dog news from the American Kennel Club every Tuesday and Friday at noon. This, of course, is in addition to our weekly Ask the Expert show Wednesdays at noon. And every weekday, we release a new Breed of the Day video, and that's at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Now, today's Breed of the Day is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. You will not want to miss it. And next Thursday, we are premiering an all-new series of training tips with AKC TV dog trainer, Kathy Santo. The first episode is all about house training. Stay tuned. Next week on Ask the Expert, a healthy gut is vital to the well-being of humans and animals. And apart from tummy rubs, there is plenty you can do for your dog's belly. We'll have Chief Veterinary Officer Dr. Jerry Klein on the show to teach us all about proper gut health. Bring any and all of those veterinary questions to the discussion. That's facebook.com slash American Kennel Club. If you ask it, we will answer it. And as usual, you could download AKC TV on Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire. You can also download the app on Google Play, Android, and iOS. Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. You know we love to chat with you on social media. AKC TV, sit, stay, watch. Thank you.